Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm here to do your general and love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hope you guys are doing well. Personal reading link is in the description box below if you want to book a reading with me. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video. And please do join my channel. Membership is now open, $9.99 a month. And once you click on the join button, uh, I believe you have to do it from your desktop. You'll be able to see all of the perks that you will gain. Um, you'll also be, once you join, added to my private Facebook group. Okay. All right, you guys. I <laughs> hope everybody's doing well. Hello, everyone in the chat. All right, let's take a look and see what your messages are here. I'm going to start out with the Island Time Wellness deck. Let's see what messages you have. <laughs> this seems to be a theme for you, Virgo. What the heck? Coffin. Okay. Endings. Bring new beginnings. Growth. Change. Liberation. And transition. Okay. So some of you may have recently gone to a funeral. I will say that. Um, and if that's the case... Um, my condolences to those of you who are experiencing a difficult time with family, friends, lovers. Um, and then for some of you, there's just this energy of like, something is like rest in peace, putting something to rest here, or you have been, or you're needing a reminder for some of you to let something go. Let's see. Okay. We've got the lightning tower moment. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprising epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Some of you may have received message about, or you, I don't want to say you are going to be because I don't want to frighten anybody. Um, you could be. But some of you may have received shocking news about somebody that passed away. Um Oh, this is, this is turning out to be um, not the easiest message. Um, it could also be for others that there's news. Oh, okay. Somebody is actually, it's hitting like a bolt of lightning. Somebody, it's hitting them that something is over here. Okay, now that could be you, it could be another person, but these are just the messages coming out. Um, it's kind of like a wow, it's like a, like a, a shock, shocking news. Like, it, it feels more like a realization, you know, when the tower happens, you know, when that lightning bolt strikes the crown chakra, it's almost like a wake up kind of thing. It's like a wow kind of moment. Okay, you have wedding rings. Some of you may be f realizing. Okay, there's several different messages I'm getting here. Okay, some of you may be realizing that something is over. Um, you may find out that somebody's getting married. Um, it could be a situation where you thought something was done or dead in the water, and then the wedding rings are here. Okay. And for others, there's an energy here where somebody is coming to terms with like a marriage is over or because a relationship is ended, somebody is in this position of, wow, wait a minute, realizing that you were soulmates, true soulmates. There was real love here. And I feel like somebody is coming to terms with that they do want to be with you. Something might have ended and somebody's having a bit of a wake up kind of thing here. Wow. All right, we're going to leave that there for just a minute. <clears throat> oh. 
I just want to pull some cards here because I was called, I felt like before I started your reading, I was thinking about it earlier. I, I feel like there's some general messages that I need to give you real quick. And then we're going to tap in back into this energy here. Let's just see. Okay. New plans are evolving and transition. Oh my gosh. See, sometimes they want to just speak on general and then they want to keep talking about this situation. So wherever spirit leads me, um, to give you these messages. I feel that you've got somebody here where a situation or a relationship, whatever you want to call it, however you want to define that relationship, came to an end. And I there's an energy here of like somebody's having a wake up call about this in the sense of like, oh. it's almost like they're in shock and they, they don't, you know when someone goes into shock, they, they're not accepting that something's actually over. And I feel like this person is seeing now that there's like a big change. This is a big change. And I, I feel like this person is making plans. They're in the process right now of making plans to bring in or to, to try to meet your needs. Or I don't know if some of you if you were single and just dating and you wanted to be married to this person and you told that this was something that you were looking for or to have a deep committed relationship like that everlasting eternal love or a union of some sort there's an energy here this person's making plans for that <clears throat> somebody is allowing something here i f did somebody might have ended a relationship with you you know and is now coming to terms with like oh my gosh that was a that was not a good decision it feels like they may they realize they're coming to terms with they made a bad decision here ending something or giving that wedding ring back Struggle, challenge, and competition. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's something. Oh my goodness. Some of you might be talking to other people, or maybe you have somebody new, or you've been involved with somebody new that, you know, maybe there was some difficulty in a new relationship, but it, it's just the overall energy makes you feel like this person is like, as difficult as this might be or feel for them, it gives me the sense that this person is going to try to come back in to give you what it is that you want okay now this this energy is speaking to me like they maybe they have a rival you might be involved with somebody else or they're thinking that it just feels like an energy of like wow realizing that they made a mistake is how I feel. That either they should have stayed married to you or they should have offered to seal the deal with you. The struggle, I think, though, is them, they're thinking to themselves, how are they going to approach you? And it's a challenge because I feel like some of you are like when someone put a nail in the coffin, you were just okay it's done and and some of you walked away and the struggle is how am i going to get virgo back and i feel like this person's very competitive so i i get a sense that this person's going to try they're right now they're making plans they're making plans let's take a look and see what else is going on okay right now you guys might be in no contact or there's no communication or someone's deliberately not contacting somebody here and i feel like it's you based on these cards that you just kind of went into this place where you're like you know i'm just never going to speak to this person again and it's not because you're i don't feel like you guys are trying to punish anybody i just feel like you're like you know what somebody didn't want you they ended it or you ended it or you were forced to end it and I think that's what the struggle is here. The challenge is how to get a hold of you because you have deleted, blocked, 
moved yourself away from the situation, got yourself out of the situation. So the struggle is, how are they going to get a hold of you? <laughs> They're making plans right now to try to figure out how to reach out to you. And I feel like they don't know how they're going to do it. I don't necessarily feel like they've been trying to contact you. For some of you, they may be. And you've gotten some messages, but you're just not responding. Let's see what else is going on here. Wow, Virgo, you always have so much drama in your readings. Okay, positive vibes. All right, some of you need to start taking vitamin D. I don't know why. Um, a lot of you are just like... I feel you got yourself in this position where you're, you know, you're like, oh, I'm going to go out in the sun, try to get as much sun as I can. I'm going to spend more time with my children. Um, maybe I'm going to go to the playground. I'm going to swim more. I'm just going to try to enjoy my life and play, do something fun. Um, and you're feeling strong. And you're feeling like, you know, the world is my play place. I'm set free. And I don't have to endure any more pain or issues in some with someone maybe who didn't want to connect or have a relate or try to meet your needs or have a relationship uh, to go forward. So I feel like a lot of you, these positive vibes are like showing in some way. And I feel like a lot of you are just like, oh, okay. It's like that that scene in Jerry Seinfeld when he's he plays the role of like even Steven. <laughs> And this girl breaks up with him. She says, I don't think I want to see you anymore. And he's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you for dating for the, for the time we were dating. I had a great time. Take, she's like, what? He's like, nah, everything always works out for me. Somebody else will come along. <laughs> you know, and I feel like, Virgo, you're just in that, you're in a good place. You're like, okay, you don't want to do this? If you're not, you'll get there. Okay, bye-bye. And that is really what I feel like is making somebody come to terms with, wait a minute, did I make a mistake? Virgo was, was real with me. Virgo was true. Virgo was really offering their love. And, and I was thinking it was something else, but no, Virgo was a real one, you know? <laughs> and you're, the positive energy you're putting out there, just living your life, or that you will be putting out there, is kind of giving this person like second thoughts here. And they're not sure how to come back. Emotional wish granted. <laughs> oh my goodness, Virgo. So this is the Nine of Cups. So this person, your wish come true for them. They feel like they want to try to have this granted for them. I feel like somebody here is, I don't know, maybe they're sitting in the room rubbing a genie lamp. I don't know what the hell is going on with this person, but it seems to me like you're, you're not chasing. You're not giving off bad energy. You're just being happy and living your life, and you're just like, eh, it is what it is. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? If somebody doesn't want to be with me, what am I going to do? What, are you going to kidnap them? Hold them hostage? <laughs> All right. Wealth, health, and abundance came out in reverse. So this feels to me like this person's not in a good place. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like this person is feeling very jealous. They may be having some issues with money at this time but there's envy and jealousy here they might think that you have somebody else or they're envious that you were just able to just agree and say okay now they may not know that you are you know some of you not all of you some of you might be just literally uh, figured or figuratively dying inside but for some of you, you're not showing it, uh, you know, uh, and I feel like this person is making assumptions, like they're questioning, how come you're not like crying? How come you're not, they may have even asked you if you were crying over them. And, you know, they're thinking this, how come Virgo's not 
distraught. How come Virgo's not, I don't know, some of you posting memes? <laughs> and I hope you're not doing that. If you are, stop that, please. Um, you know, if somebody lets you go, it's no longer their business to know what's going on in your life in the sense of like your emotions and your deep feelings. They forfeited that. They forfeited that. And you don't owe them. And pleading and begging and, you know, any kind of like emotional uh, manipulation to try to get somebody back is very unhealthy, you know. And posting memes about your ex is some... <laughs> I mean, talk to talk to some friends if you need to talk to some people, if you know you're dealing with that. But if you're putting stuff out there, hoping that that person is going to see and see that you're struggling and feel bad for you, if they ended it, they're not going to feel bad for you, right? But I don't really feel like a lot of you are doing that. I feel like I'm not exactly sure who I'm talking to here, but I feel like a lot of you just kind of got to this place where you're like, okay, even Steven somebody else to come along there's a ch there's a seat for every ass i'm not too worried about it i'm not sweating it you know and and at least or at least that's how they see you and they're kind of in this oh wait a minute virgo's okay without me what the heck oh look at this this is the marriage card This is the Hierophant energy. So this person's got commitment on their mind, doing things right, doing things by the book, checking their belief system. I feel like this person, what they thought about you before, they're questioning now that they were wrong. They let someone good go. This is what I feel like their energy is, what they're thinking of you at this time. They just... They're not sure. <laughs> Here's manifestation. This person's going to come in, lay all their cards on the table. They're going to use every tool they have in the book to try to create, recreate, manifest this connection back with you, no matter what it takes. You know, you can be very focused. They're very focused right now on you and what's going on with you. Um, maybe trying to get glimpses or trying to understand where you're at with things. Um, how you feel about them. Um, this person is feeling quite inspired. You're inspiring them. To, to You're drawing them back in by not saying anything. You're drawing them back in by, you know, going out there and, and living your life and being positive despite your challenges. Um, or you will be, which is, you know, it's powerful energy. A lot of you just, you healed before you got into a relationship with someone and you you know maybe in the past you were more like devastated some of you others of you not so much but however long this relationship lasted or this connection with someone because you may have healed prior to getting involved for some of you you just kind of came to this place you're like okay whatever it is what it is right um, let's see what the tarot has to say. Let me pull, I'm going to pull some, yeah, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards on this new plans that are beginning to evolve because somebody is here making a decision. They're at this crossroad now. Um, and I don't feel like it's a crossroad of whether to come back or not. I feel like it's a crossroad about which path, which road to take back to your heart because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this person does not want to be, they're suffering. They don't want to suffer anymore. Um, and they're not sure if they should come at you in an assertive way, assertive, or if they should come at you in a gentle way. They're not sure if they should apologize or how they should open up. They're not even sure how they could get in contact with you if there's no way to contact you. Now, some of you might not have this person blocked but there may be this, this, there's this thing with this person where it's like, okay, well, I need to make sure that when I reach out to Virgo, I hook them and say something that they will respond to. So they might come in with like an emergency kind of thing, <laughs> I'm just hearing, or some like really profound news, that something that they know so that they can get your attention. But they're trying to figure that out right now. How to get your attention. 
Um, <laughs> and with that magician card, the magician energy, that's like really working the magic. They're really trying to pull some rabbits out of their hat. Or they're going to be. All right, let's see. Show me the new plans. The new plans that are evolving here. Okay. So, hmm, the Emperor, Aries energy. So, this is an energy of um, how to come in, you know, and make strategic move with the Emperor. That's what I was saying. Um, the Emperor is very strategic planner. Um, this person is planning how to come in also to show themselves to be what it is that you want. I don't know if you had a requirement on this person to be in emperor or empress mode. In other words, you may have had that in your heart, but I don't know if you expressed that to this person that that's what you wanted or needed them to be. But this person believes that that's what you want or your need to be some or that you need to be someone that is you weren't looking for someone who, um, or you weren't dealing, you didn't want to deal with someone who was like immature. This person, maybe you called them immature, you told them to grow up. They're coming in, trying to be grown up, okay? And, and also, I do feel like, for some of you, this, you just saying, okay, bye-bye, <laughs> keep it moving, um, is actually causing growth in this person. Okay, so you weren't you weren't looking for someone who was bringing in drama or control had control issues. I feel like this person is aware um, that maybe they were up in their ego. Maybe you told them that, or they're they're just coming to terms with that right now. Which is why, oh yeah, look, see they weren't they weren't putting in effort. And the emperor puts an effort. I feel like this person is really seeing that they have to do something new here with you in order to get you back. And that is to turn those eight of pentacles upright to repair. They need to repair the situation. How do they repair the situation? Uh, by growing the hell up, becoming a mature adult. Also, to not be such a perfectionist. This person may have issues with being a perfectionist as well. Let's see. Why does this person want to transition out of this? What is this suffering that they're feeling? Oh, look, the Empress. <laughs> you two are a match. It's a soulmate connection. The Emperor and the Empress. These are two people who are meant to be. This is Libra energy. So... They're suffering without you because they know. They view you as being an emperor or empress energy. They view you as being very mature. And they know that in order to match you or match your level, they had to level up. And some of you may have just, I feel like without telling them that that's what you needed, or maybe at this point or at some point, when it ended, rather than telling them, you know, hey, you have to do this or you have to do that, I feel like a lot of you just said, okay, bye. Even Steven, somebody else will come along. And this person does not want to lose you. That's what the suffering is. They want that suffering to end here. They see you as someone who is... Like you're the uh, king of kings, you're the queen of queens. Okay, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. The energy, whatever you are, whoever you deal with. Yeah, they see you all right. They're watching you somehow. It's, it, it's killing them to see you being your best self and being very, you know, mature and being so handsome and being so beautiful and knowing that they let you go and that... There's a huge, they're going to have to compete and it's, they're going to have to fight to try to get a hold of you and try to win your heart back. I don't know if they can. They're not talking to you right now because that's what's going on. Now they're in planning strategic mode here, but they are watching you. 
They're trying to get information on you. They're trying to find out if you've got somebody else. They're trying to find out. They're watching you. They're spying on you somehow. Trying to get some truth. Um, that's part of the plan, but they're also suffering. They're doing this to themselves, and they sh they know. So it's like they can't stop looking. It's like they want to keep looking, and, and it kills them. And they and they they're worried they're they're going to look and see you with somebody else. They're worried they're going to see you holding hands with someone else, or that you're kissing or cuddling, or you're spending intimate moments with someone else who's you know um, giving you their love. They're looking to see if that's going to happen, if they can get in on time. They're looking to see if they're going to be able to fight or compete with someone else that you may be. This person, it feels like they're running out of time. They feel like it's now time for this change. They're running out of time. Let's take a look at the struggle, challenge, and the competition. <laughs> Four of cups in reverse. Oh, my goodness. The challenge for them is going to be to get try to get you to open your heart up to them again, and they know that. Because some of you might just be, I feel like they feel like you're indifferent, you're apathetic. And I feel like um, they're questioning whether or not to just surprise you, you know, come in and say, hey, I've grown up, they should be direct about it, you know. Um, they feel like you might not accept their cup of love. They're worried that you have already just, that you're gone. And the struggle is going to be for them to try to see them in a different light. They don't know how to show you. They're not sure how to show you. They think you may have a new option already, like I said, and they may have to compete. Tell me about this no contact. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. So if this person's not talking to you right now or there's no communication about the relationship or anything like that, I feel like right now this person is... You see how... Okay, they could be getting their teeth done. They just told me that. <laughs> and they have maybe like their mouth is sewn shut. Who the hell knows? Um, you see how she's trying to open up that um, lion's mouth? I feel like this person is trying to figure out and trying to gain the strength and the courage to, to find a way to get you to talk to them. Right now, they're, they're not talking to you right now. Um, this is Leo energy here. Okay, and they also told me that this person, right now they're not talking. Um, another reason they're not communicating at this time is because um, there's somebody, it's like a, um, a friend or a mother figure or sibling or someone who's trying to, I feel like you're not chasing after them and they're not at this time communicating with you they're trying to get their ego stroked at this time which is giving them the courage and the strength like somebody's talking to them and telling them you know you have to you have to kind of soothe virgo's mind in order to you have to give reassurance this is what somebody is telling your person you have to give reassurance that you're going to follow through. Um, there, this, You know what it feels like? It's going to sound strange, but it feels like this person has pulled their energy back. And they are, um, like I was saying, gathering up their tools and how to make their way back towards you. So again, very strategic planning. And they're talking to you know their subordinates or other people. Let me see. Give me another card on this. Yeah, there you go. The Eight of Wands. They're trying mostly to get the courage up. 
to reach out to you or send you some type of communication or messages while you're in no while you're not talking to them you know <laughs> trying to get up the courage when we have the sun card um I mean the strength card. Um, this person may have had a tendency um, before in the relationship to self-sabotage or sabotage the relationship. Um, there might have been like an abuse of power, which could be like a sense of control, you know, or silent treatment, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like this person is... If they could talk to you, they would be telling you right now that um, the times that they weren't talking to you before, if they were giving you, or if they were just ignoring your, your calls or just walking out of the room, I feel like this person is actually going to tell you that they were, they think they have a problem with um, their ego, like abuse. They, they think they might be abusive. Maybe you said something to them about that. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I think they're going to tell you, or, or if they could tell you, that they would tell you that they, 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 they'll they confess to having, trying to give you the silent treatment and then coming back and um, talking to you a whole lot and then trying to um, stop communicating with you and then like this roller coaster back and forth energy so while there's person and you are not in contact this is the energy that they're coming to terms with it's almost as if they're, they're looking at themselves and seeing the error of their ways in this relationship and that's part of this growth is what i see happening here um because i feel like they want to break through the wall as fast as they can try to come towards you you know and make this change change the relationship to get you guys to start talking again but i i feel like that's what they want to do but they know that if they do that um or they fear that if they do that they're just going to keep hitting a brick wall so they're trying to strategize or plan a way to come in <laughs> jeez who the hell are you dealing with virgo okay emotional wish granted Okay. Ten of Wands. Wow. Letting go of the burdens. So, there are, I feel like this person is, is really stressed and just like completely exhausted. They're, they're, they're so tired. They just want to be happy. And, and I feel like All the physical, whatever physical things that this person does, it feels to me like really what they want is to be emotionally happy. I don't know what that means. Let me see. Give me another clarifying card for the Ten of Wands here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Virgo. <laughs> it stresses this person out. I'm going to just listen. It physically is taking a physical toll on this person. When they look at you, male or female, it doesn't matter, and they see that you are single as a Pringle and you are living your best life. So this is what I feel like is going on here. Um, I don't feel, Virgo, like you are trying to purposely hurt anybody. I feel like if you're going to have any revenge on anyone that's hurt you in the past, your idea of that is to just live your best life, to just make yourself happy. And this person, I feel like whoever they are, sees this energy in you and it's having a physical toll on them. And like I said, this person's watching you, so they may be seeing that you're, you're okay. Look at this. 
some of you back out, back out on the market. Um, have a lot of you in your financial gains, um, dressing nice, looking good, smelling fresh and clean. <laughs> Wait, who did I say that group was? I said Andre 3000. What the heck was her name again? I know you guys are going to say it in the chat. Um, hey, uh, I can't remember the name of the group, but anyway, you know who it is. Um, and I feel like all they want this person, all this person wants is to be emotionally happy with you. They're, they're like, it actually, it, it, it's like a parallel because while they're physically drained and it's taking an, um, your joy and happiness in your life and being okay with walking away and just living your best life, while it's taking a physical toll on them, they're also wishing and hoping that you two can be together again. All right, what's going on with them? Wealth, health, and abundance in the reverse. Ooh, okay, this is karma. Okay. So, it feels to me like this person, it feels like this person had an issue with the way they treated people. Okay? Um, because fives represent misalignment. They had a hard time getting along with people. Um, they were inconsistent in their words and their actions with others. This is like, I feel like it's their disposition. They may have been someone who was a heartbreaker, um, hurting others, you know, that three of swords energy. See how he's carrying those three swords? This person, um, had this way of just cutting people off when they were done with them, as if they were objects. As if, so all the times I feel like this, this person did this, it's affected their work and their health and their ability to progress in life. It feels like you are the catalyst for this person making change and having growth and growing up because this person, I feel, has spent their life to whatever age they are in being a bit abusive to others or just being very short and cutting with even lovers, friends, things like that, um, and would just shut people down. You just don't go through life. <laughs> It, that shit comes back to you. They always say, be kind to the people on your way up. Because if you fall back down, nobody's going to be there for you. This person, I feel like, has lived their life not letting anyone get close to them. When people would try to get close to them, they would shut them down. Hmm. Maybe they were a bully. Maybe they were violent. Um, <laughs> so they're suffering because of that they're, and it's true it's true when you're in a toxic unhealthy relationship with someone that it bleeds that trickles down and affects all areas of your life okay um, unless you have a, some kind of a strength in you where you're able to like you're very resilient there are people who have been in long-term abusive or unhealthy relationships but they have such a strong will and so much resiliency that they they just keep pushing forward and they're able to be and it's because of the bricks that people have thrown at them they have been able to take those bricks and build castles where there's other people who could not didn't know what to do with those bricks and they let themselves get hit right um, and I know some of you just took those bricks and kept building the castles, but others, you know, really got hurt by somebody's behavior, okay? And it feels like this person, well, everything that they've done to other people has kept them from being any kind of success in their life as they got older. Maybe in the beginning, uh, I feel like somebody hurt this person, very badly so 
they in turn hurt somebody else and maybe even you and it just feels like this person is in like a, a poverty type of a situation right now i feel like this person um has no people to support them hold on a second they're just giving me another message here yeah okay so it feels like this person is in this position of um maybe they're going bankrupt it, yeah it just feels like a like a poverty mindset they're quite vulnerable right now <laughs> they're suffering and i i don't feel like i mean some of you might be like oh well that's what you got but others of you are kind of like well you know I, they let me go I, i'm living my best life i'm not going to dim my light just so somebody else can shine better you know <laughs> and virgo the positive vibes here this is the sun you are out here with the sun energy like you are brilliant and i feel like this person there's an element of envy no, envy no, envy yeah and jealousy um but the thing is and i want to just say this As of yet, there's no Ace of Cups. There's no, um, I mean, we've got the Four of Cups in the reverse, but where's the love here? That's my question. Sure, wedding, eternal love, soul connection, giving you what you want, but are they giving you what you want because they're feeling they've got nobody? Are they lost? Are they coming in out of heart or are they coming in out of ego? So here they, ha here they have spiritual principles and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Now here's the Six of Cups. Okay. Oh man, I feel like... <sighs> There's definitely an energy here of re revisiting this relationship, okay? It is Mercury retrograde, so I'm feeling like this is a Mercury retrograde reading throughout the whole mercury retrograde and i think i'm going to even caption that because i do feel like somebody here you know when we go through that mercury retrograde this is a time of reassessing of letting things go and reevaluating. you know all the broken things all the things in life that you know we're shorting out that you know there was no surge of electricity to keep something alive you know, things were shorting out. That's why our car batteries die. That's why our phones aren't working right. That's why emails are not, you know what I mean? All that electrical energy, which energy is really the energy of the heart, you know? And we go through this period where we're looking at the heart and we're seeing where is our heart short, short circuiting, you know? And I feel like this person here, that's why we have lightning here. I feel like this person is getting like a real shock to the system in the heart, you know? And so with the Six of Cups energy, this person is like, it feels like, um, a mo it feels more of a moral thing, but there is kindness attached to this person. You know, they may be trying to, thinking about giving you a gift. Um, I feel like they want to, they're going to try to conform, right? But it's kindness as well. Like, I do feel like they're coming in innocently. Um, we may not have the cup cards here in the sense of like the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, like the whole, like not even the Four of Wands, but the, the emotions. It may be because this person at this point in time is not even sure that you will accept them back. So they're keeping their emotions a little bit suppressed the six of cups energy is just maybe like doing a kind deed or giving a gift all right let's take a look at this magician energy that's gemini okay so this person is in the process of healing right now and is wanting to heal this relationship aquarius energy the star in the reverse okay so the star energy in reverse kind of gives me this sense of like this person is, you know, they definitely feel they don't like being ignored. That's for sure. But 
it feels more like they don't like being ignored by you because you are you are someone very special to this person like a north star for them and i feel like this person is like try wants to renew and manifest this connection with you like they're hoping for a miracle like they're trying to get their faith back and they're hoping that they can bring that faith back in you and that desire to renew the connection um but i feel mostly with the star in the reverse is this person really struggles with the healing um and it, they're just telling me this person really needs you they look to you for guidance and right now those clouds are blocking the stars and they can't see you so to speak and this person is trying is, is definitely going to try to manifest you back into their life without having a guidepost they don't really know how to do this or how to get back to you because I feel like you always kind of led the way for them when you were involved with them. And now they're out here solo and they're turning from a, a little child into a mature adult. And this is like all brand new for them. <laughs> you know, even with that Hierophant, they, they, the Hierophant is like a spiritual teacher. So they could be getting some type of counseling of some sort or therapy or life coaching or somebody is like trying to help them on this journey, you know? And I feel like this person, the other thing I'm just wanted to say that they're saying is that this person's not getting the kind of attention out there in the world. It's not comparable to what you were giving them. You know, it's not, it doesn't compare. And they may have needed to go out there and have something to compare that with. And there you go. We're ending with the lovers. This is Gemini. This is a Mercury ruled card. You two are going to end up together. <laughs> I'm telling you. If you'll have them. I see it here. You know, I mean, this person, you're the only one that they love. You are it for them. You're their other half. You're it. You're the soulmate. You're the twin flame. You're whatever, you know. And they're, this, this decision is already made for them. And it's just a matter of how they're going to do it, how they're going to come back in and get, get your heart again, because I feel like they tried to get your heart so many times and they used every trick in the book. And I feel like they're trying to devise a way to get this rabbit out of the hat in a way that you've never seen before. You know, this person knows that the two of you together is better than them being on their own. They, or at least they're coming to terms with that. They really feel like they screwed up. And it's all because you didn't try to sell yourself. You didn't beg. You didn't plead. You didn't chase. You didn't even run, Virgo. You just said, oh, okay. Even Steven. Somebody else will come along. See ya. Good luck with things. <laughs> wow. What a reading. What a freaking reading. Let me get some romance angels. See, you guys, I haven't been here for a couple days, right? And I was really just trying to feel the energy. And I am so glad that I waited a couple days before giving you this reading because this is very powerful and I could just feel the energy vibrating within me. You know, it's, it's like my whole body feels drawn to this reading. And my whole body is like screaming, uh, like, this is it for Virgo. This is, this is Virgo's reading. If ever there was a reading, this is Virgo's reading. Okay. Make the effort and past life relationship. Okay. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And this person's being guided by... Um, a sky full of cloudy stars. They can't even find you, but they're still, they're still going to trust. No matter how hard it is for them, no matter how difficult their faith is, or they're not even sure if you would have them back, they're still going to try. Like probably the greatest move they're ever going to make. I mean, this is something that I feel is going to go down in the books for this person. 
past life relationship. This is 100% the past connection. You have known each other's soul before. It's a soul to soul recognition. It's not even about the physical. It's not about the sex. It's not about the intimacy. It's, it's, it's not about the material things. It's not about anything else other than vulnerability. And they see themselves in you. And some of you are like, yeah, I know. I see the same thing in them. So this is two people, despite their differences, who are meant to be together. Usually my readings are not like this, but I'm feeling that Mercury energy. All right, let's get some names and dates. All right, let's see. What are Virgo's names and dates messages? I hope, did you guys like this reading? I know some of you I know are like, I'm not taking that person back. Eh, 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 eh. Well, don't. Just because the reading's playing out this way doesn't mean you have to. I mean, some of you, I get it. The person was a shit stain. And for others, you're like, nah, I love them. But what am I going to do? Even Steven. Maybe somebody's name is Steven. Let's take a look. All right, come on, Spirit. Give us a card. All right, they're not, they're just saying pull it. Ooh, Page of Swords energy. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay, somebody, listen. I don't know what these these shoes are called. I'm going to show you the picture. I was just looking at those shoes. Somebody wears shoes like that, okay? Or sneakers or runners or trainers, whatever you want to call them. Somebody wears those shoes. That's the first thing they're trying to tell you here. Either that's you or your person. Somebody's initial uh, in their name, the letter P. Okay. Hmm. We have an 11 card here, you guys. 11, 11, one, one. Um, I just heard the name Arroyo, Arroyo. Um, and then I heard the name Park, P-A-R-K, Park. Um, the date, for or birth date, 11. Okay, May September 11th. Um, hmm. Oh, parking. Maybe you're parking your car right now. Or you're, or you're in a parking lot, or you're looking for a parking space, you're passing by a parking lot. Okay. Oh, there's somebody here who wears a tie, and it's like, it's it's like the equivalent of an ugly sweater. It's like an ugly tie. Somebody wears somebody, or they have on, or they think their tie is very ugly. There's just something about an ugly tie, or they don't like to wear ties because they think they're ugly. Something along those lines. I just heard. Okay. What else? Oh, does somebody like throw? Um, okay. I'm just, all right, here's what the image is. People who juggle torches, juggle torches, do you know what I mean? Torches that juggle, are they like, like a juggler? I don't know what they're called, flamethrowers, torches, torches or something. Um, and somebody has like really sexy thighs, really, really sexy thighs. <laughs> Um, okay, let me see. So somebody's birthday is in June. Um, and when somebody says, like if there, somebody texts another person, instead of spelling out the word you, Y-O-U, they just use the letter U. Okay. Or when they write, they, they don't spell it out. They just write write the letter U. Oh man. 
again with those torches, those juggling torches or firecrackers. Maybe there's, I'm seeing also firecrackers or tiki torches. Oh, wow, hold on a minute. What the heck? Okay, I am picking up Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, they're giving me planets. They're giving me the moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, and Mercury. Okay, those planets. I don't know, I've never said that before. I don't know why I'm saying that now. Maybe it's their sign. Um, they have Virgo in those planets. Okay, somebody's got really very beautiful long blonde hair. I'm going to say that right now. Also, somebody was born in 1967 or 76. Okay. Somebody, um, somebody has very beautiful long blonde hair. And someone wears a flannel. They like to wear flannel shirts, either like to bed or when they're out. Somebody, and they just gave me the, the city, um, Seattle, Seattle, Washington, Seattle. All right, let's see. Okay. Well, somebody's birthday is the end of August. And I just heard the name Gil, G-I-L, G-I-L-L, Gil, G -I -L -L, Gil. Gilbert, Jillian, Gil. And somebody is, um, I see a woman teaching a young male how to fix something or how to make something or create or build something. All right, let's get into your charms. Didn't have a lot of dates there, but that's okay. I just feel like a, this energy is playing out. Um, so Mercury retrograde, Mercury goes direct February 3rd, I believe. So I'm going to um, put this reading, even though I do it daily, I'm going to put this for from now until February 3rd. Okay. So you can come back and listen to this as time goes by. All right, let's get your charms. All right, you guys. All right, we have an airplane, 747. Okay, somebody's flying right now or will be flying. Um, are there travel plans being made? Possibly from now through February 3rd. Um, doesn't mean somebody's going to be on a plane during that time, but there could be travel plans. There could be communication or talking about travel plans. Um, oh my gosh, look, you've got the star. Again, this person comes to you, they find you. You are their North Star. I'm telling you, Virgo, this person finds you. And that leads them. They make, they make, you have the key. You hold the key to this person's heart. Okay? You do. And right on here, top of this key, there's three dots. This is the Trinity. Maybe somebody's name is Trinity or someone's from Trinidad or flying to Trinidad. Somebody's flying to or from uh T Dallas or Texas. Oh, here we go again. Get out of here. And now we have a black star or a navy blue star. Again, with these stars, I'm telling you. <laughs> You're both stars. Superstars. Superstar. <laughs> okay. Two stars that were meant to be together. Both very different. One might be shorter than the other, okay? You guys, I, I think I'm going to do a um, what is your soulmate's exact name reading coming up soon. So give me a little time. I've been thinking about it, and um, I'm going to prepare how I want to do that. But I was just feeling like 
you and your person, like how we had the emperor and the empress, you and this person are meant to be together. Like you are an even match. You're, it's like you're a pair. The emperor and the empress are the only two that go together. But there's differences between you, okay? There could be racial differences because we have like... Um, a light colored star here and then a black colored star there um, I'm not saying black and white I'm just saying that they're um, they're opposites like um, the yin-yang wheel you know um, one is much more bling bling kind of energy and the other person is just pretty basic as well it could be that somebody could have very white or blonde hair and the other person has like black or brown hair right there's just contrast between the two of you yet you complement one another um, and you also have this beautiful dragonfly my gosh this dragonfly is like really almost tribal it's very decorative let me show you do you see it <clears throat> it's very decorative and, and fairy like so somebody might have, I just saw a, a dragonfly tattoo with like a fairy on it or someone near a fairy. Maybe somebody lives in a town called Fairy. Um, or there's Fairy Street. Maybe somebody, somebody might use that name, that term, and the word in a derogatory way, which slap on the wrist for that okay and you also have an angel wing right this is a feather so if you see a feather or you've seen a feather recently this is a message that this union is blessed okay and that it's especially your name i mean your reading i'm gonna get one more and then we're gonna finish out and you've got two hearts wow there could be plans being made. Maybe someone's a pilot because we have a key here. So someone holds like a key to the plane. I don't know if planes use keys. I guess unless they have like auto, just press a button to start the plane. I don't know. Uh, or somebody works on a plane or for an airline. I've got two hearts here. See, two hearts. One is bigger than the other. Okay, someone's heart might be a lot bigger than the other person's heart. Or there's just like... You guys fit together. Like if when you guys hug, it's like one person's a bit bigger than the other or taller than the other. And it's just like a, like a nice fit when you hug. You know, it's not like nose to nose. It's like someone could get their, someone, it's just like a fit, like a jigsaw puzzle. You, you When you hold hands or you, you walk down the street, when your arms are entwined in one another, it's just such a lovely thing. I feel like I want to say something else about this key, but I'm having a hard time picking up. Oh, okay. They just said, okay, the keys or key largo, it's like a, a place that has the word key in it. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe somebody's flying to the keys or flying from the keys or at a place with the word key in it. That's what I feel. All right, Virgo, interesting reading. Very beautiful. I hope that you uh, enjoyed this. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on this video. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, you can still get readings from me. Um, just go over to the description box here below this video and click the link to book a private personal reading with me. It's a phone call reading. And don't forget to join my channel. The link is below also in the video under in the description box. If you're unable to access that, you will have to like, if you use your phone, you have to do it from the desktop or go on a computer. I don't know what is going on with YouTube, but it will not, I can't even see the join button from my phone. I have to go on the desktop. So yeah, and do check out my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. The link is below as well. Yeah, you guys. So thanks. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I love you. Bye.